Yes, yeah, John. No, Cyber, I don't think so. SQ, what is that? Item. So, ich bin schon im Stream online, das heißt, man kann mich schon hören. Mhm. Deswegen gehe ich auch wieder bald hier raus aus dem Ja, ja, alles kann gut. Man. Ich habe dich auch schon gespottet. Ich stelle mich dann ja ab. Äh, Sehr schön. Cool. Ich habe jetzt auch noch nichts gemacht. Ich bin noch cold and dark. Ich muss noch einladen, tanken. Putzen ja. und so weiter. Ich schaue gerade noch dem Flying Fabio zu. Okay, let's watch Flying Fabio. Where are you? Yeah. Sehr gut. Deswegen sind wir, fliegen wir dahin. <lacht> Good, happy ending for Fabio. Then. Können wir jetzt unseren Stream hier machen? Yay! Ich mache mal ein bisschen Werbung schnell. Hund, was machst du für ein Radau? Der Hund hat sein. Der Hund schmeißt sein Hirschhorn durch die Gegend. Hallo Kevin! The Fox says, Miau! Latest release! I'm just making my advertising here. My stream! Einfügen, dann legen wir auf den hier. Zack, zack, eingefügt. Dann haben wir noch welchen Server. Ja, ein bisschen hier bei Watson spammen. Okay. Ups. Aber x darf man noch genutzen, ne? Entweder, entweder Swift oder gar nichts. Ja. Yeah. Verräter! Nein. Ah, oh, nein. <lacht> nein. Alright. 
Then, um, <clears throat> okay, IRS one, two, three. Oh, I didn't push the button. I'm stupid. Right then, one, 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 two, three. Blah blah blah. The master switch start. No smoking on. Immerse. That's armed. Oh, let's do some programming here. Up to AOC. Up. Uh, das Rascheln war. Ups. Moment. Oh. Das waren die Umkehrschubhebel. Weil, wenn mein. Die waren irgendwo zwischendrin, meine physischen Schubhebel, und das hat er dann dauernd aus, ein, aus, ein, aus, ein gemacht. Gut, dann haben wir hier Frankfurt, Hamburg, uh, that's good, init, request, uplink, ja, yep. Frankfurt, Hamburg, Berlin is alternate, 98, cost index level 240, that's good. The IRS should be already... Oh no, we need to align it still. Yep, confirm align. It's cool. Then let's start refueling and boarding the plane. But maybe for this we should as well get the jet bridge connected. Is that... Did it happen? Yep, it's happening. Good. Then fuel download. So we should have we should get fifteen point no eight tons. Where's the target fuel? Oh yeah, twenty three point nine tons is the target fuel. Payload download the data. So we have two hundred fifty five passengers, eleven point six tons of cargo. Start boarding. Then, no, here, ATC com, ATIS, request Frankfurt, departure ATIS, yeah, GPS primary. Such a beautiful aircraft, isn't it? Just a liberation. <laughs> no, the liberation, yeah. I took the blue one, blue stops. The sea, across the sea, or is it the sky? I don't know what the motto was of this. Ah, look, there's an easy jet, there was 321. Who could that be? Hello, this is Tim. Alright, then we need to... Oops, I didn't want this. So on the radar we see already it's uh, medium busy, it's not too bad. Around here, it's not overly busy. On the GUI we see our frequency, so we take the ground 1 to 185. 1 to 185 active, and tower will be next, 99. Then let's have a look. Does this guy offer a PDC? Yeah, he does. Here, yeah, see? PDC, data link, e data link. And the code is. EDDF. Very good. Then... Oh. The plane always sets here squawks 7000, I don't know why, whenever I load it. Shouldn't do that. I should keep the last one that I saved that I set after before shutting down the plane, but yeah. it's not doing it. Then we take our local files, Frankfurt. I hope I selected the correct SID. So it's maybe Maroon 3 Whiskey or Maroon 6 Fox. We shall see. 
parking wise we are we are parked here in this area we are um, parking alpha 22 so we are parked here on this stand Tim here is next to us on alpha 20 So in case we depart 25 center, it's going to be pushed back, probably facing south or west, and then via November 7 and Lima to one of the Lima holding points of runway 25 center. Easy peasy. And if we have to come back in a hurry, it's going to be the ILS 25 center, 1155, 247 degrees. 4,000 feet or maybe 3,000 feet at DM8 or 2,000 feet at DM5. Welches Kreiszeichen noch wir gerade? Nur 3 oder schon nur 4? Wie meinst du? Erak? Ich habe glaube ich schon. Ich weiß gar nicht. Ich weiß nicht. Ich habe, ich, ich, ich hatte ja meine ich Karten. Das habe ich gemacht. Das, das, das habe ich gemacht letzte Woche. Ja. Also departure information echo. I, can you hear my echo? Echo, 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 echo. Where is my where is my scribble sheet? Here is my scribble sheet. Scribble sheet, come to me, come to daddy. Alright, we are Condor 303 Hotel like Hamburg. Obviously, 303 is the 30th of March, and then H for hotel. So we have information echo, 270 degrees, 5 knots, good visibility, clouds few at 47, temperature 13, dew point 9, and cool in arch 1011, perfect. So I think it's time, let's see, the fuel is on board, so we can insert here our block fuel, 23, no, not 0.3, 0.9. So. Then our payload, yeah, we have finished boarding. So the zero fuel weight should be 160.1 tons, 20.57. Just cross check that the automatic generation is fine. Yep, it's good. And we can insert it. We wait for this page to be populated. Very good. Performance. Um, yeah, the trim, we don't know. Is it written anywhere here? I don't think so, no. no. So we guess. We guess. It's 0 0.3 up Whoop. and we said 13 degrees let's flex to 54 very nice and the v-speed should be coming automatically from the database 145 147 153 perfect and now you're just missing the um the sit but for this we're gonna send an atc uh, clearance request. So we are on gate alpha 22. Information echo has been filled in automatically. Call sign, aircraft type, and city pair are correct already. And then we just insert here E D D no. double D. Yeah? Oh, we like double D. Oh, yeah, don't you? Double D F. Oh. Come on. It didn't take it. Then one more time. Is this a bug or is this a feature? Interesting. I had it before and then uh, one or twice, once or twice, and um, and then it didn't happen again. And now we are back to it. Let's have a look. Maybe the station is not online, and uh, this is the old version of the. Um, PDC and uh, it does not provide a an error message saying like oh the station is not online. Okay, stations online. Let's have a look if we got 
you see you can check that here on on the Hoppy website on the left you see here stations online and then let's have a look we, we look come on control F EDDF yeah Watson EDDF is online yeah and people are sending yeah clearance requests and they receive clearance so oh yeah I see it yeah yeah Alpine 9656 So let's go to another page and we come back here. Maybe this will solve the problem. Nein, 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 nein. So I don't know why it doesn't work now. Ah, now it, now it, now it took it, yeah. Maybe, maybe it's a bug and it wasn't happy that I first filled in the gate name and then the station name transfer to DCDU uh, this is the DCDU and, uh, and then we say yep. next page and we say send and it has been sent so we just wait for a uh, reply from ATC that's all since boarding has been completed I think can remove the jet bridge. Bye bye, jet bridge. Oh, you hear this nice sound? This means that our there's a message on our DCDU or on the MCDU. Um, no, FMGC. FMGC. Um, 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 so external power has been removed. We switch on the seatbelt signs. And you know what? Goodbye ground power. And let me activate pushback. And already call the tuck. Let's have a look. And there are... Uh, uh, received request being processed. Standby. Next page. Ah, there are two messages, so close this one, and this is our clearance, actually, so you see. We are cleared to Hamburg, 25 Center, uh, Maroon 6 Fox, okay, then this is as expected, Maroon 6 Fox, 5000 feet, and Squawk 1000, Squawk 1000. Next frequency, 12185, we have to call them for startup and pushback. Then Wilco, and this confirms the receipt of the clearance, and we can close it. Yeah, yeah. Maybe a different call sign. So two five center, Maroon six Foxtrot. Insert. Let's check those waypoints. We go to charts. And this is the Maroon 3 Whiskey, so we need page number 2. Let's see here, Maroon 6 Fox. Okay, the instructions up here. Transition 5000 feet, contact Lang and Radar when advised by tower. So, by tower. Um, the routing. Initial climb clearance is 5000 feet. We need to maintain 12% climb gradient until waypoint Delta Fox 233 due to airspace structure. So it's only airspace, it's not too important in terms of safety, in case of engine failure, whatever, uh, it's not terrain. Um, six Fox, so 800 feet, proceed direct waypoint Delta Fox 234. Delta Fox 233, at or above 3500 feet, then waypoint 13244 or above Taboom, Lixi, as well, it's a bit naughty, Lixi, yeah? uh, Lorpa and Maroon. Let's check those waypoints, 800 feet, yeah, Delta Fox 234, 233 three at or above 35, 132 at or above 44, Taboom, Lixi, Lorpa, Maroon. Looking good. Um, nav setting, yep, it got the ILS 1155 with the correct front course in case we have to come back as well. I'm gonna set the Frankfurt VOR active just in case. 
it's always good to have a a backup station here a needle and um, and in case of engine failure we're gonna climb straight ahead on on the runway heading and fly probably a left hand circuit or radar vectors we're gonna ask for radar vectors to come back on 25 center the msa for this sector is three and a half thousand feet so if we climb 4,000 feet, we are safe as well. We said the ceiling was 4,000 something, 700 feet. So as well, we're gonna stay VMC for sure. And in case of other small abnormals, we stick to the SID due to airspace structure and traffic and so on. And we can still later on say, oh, no, we wanna stop our flight and come back. And if it's really, really bad, if we have a uh, catastrophic emergency, we're gonna fly a left-hand circuit. At minimum 2,000 feet, we want to stay above the traffic of Eaglesbach Airport, which is here up to 1,500 feet. And then we fly a left-hand visual or a short lineup for the IS25 center. And that concludes our departure briefing. Let's continue here the setting. So we have to set 5,000 feet and the Q&H 1011. VUR needle, VUR needle, and I'm gonna call him now for pushback. Tim, du bist schon am pushen, oder wie's? Dann. Warte mal. Aber vielleicht sollte ich zuerst fragen. Ah ne, du musst zuerst fragen, weil dann kann er dich nach hinten schieben auf den November 8, oder wie er da heißt. Mal gucken, ob er drauf kommt. Dann können wir nicht beide gleichzeitig pushen. Mal schauen, was rauskommt. That's good. The controller is nice. He explains his uh, complicated request in German as well. Okay, a nice dreamliner. Beautiful. So, Tim, du bist dran. Zu langsam. Das ist, ähm, das ist ein Freeway Add-on von Flight Sim TO. Der heißt äh, Virtual Fra, genau, Virtual Fra. Virtual Fra bei Flight Sim.to. Ist der populärste. Und der ist immer noch im Ausbau. Aber hat schon die ganzen, auch die Guidance-Systeme drin, das reicht mir schon. Alpha, that was Alpha 5 8 Alpha, is that correct? Correct. Look 
Das sieht komisch aus hier, die Bemalung. Textur und Texture on my engine looks strange. Something went wrong, I think, with the. Uh, the same here? Yep, the same. So something is wrong here on this uh, livery. I probably have to re download it. Papa, November 8, 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 November this guy here to park and then he can push back here. Okay, when uh, we're clear of the uh, EasyJet on our left side, we're gonna push back facing northeast, Condor uh, 303 Hotel. Uh, Condor 303 Hotel, you can expect a taxi out by the Copy. Yeah, well, that's not true. So now, on my scribble sheet, I made I made a check mark. That means to me, uh, start approved, and then I wrote a P like pushback approved, and I wrote N E like facing northeast. So Tim, der ist verschwunden, der Lufthansa. Ich glaube, du kannst da einmal rückwärts gehen, oder? Der ist weg. Der hat sich wohl ausgelockt. Oh, da machen wir hier einmal. So. Beacon on, fuel pumps on, bop, 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 bop. Oh, APU bleed will help to start the engines later on. So Tim is moving, then we will move as well. I like to move it, move it. I uh, like to move it, move it. So, car break off and we go to the back. By the way, was there a way to... to uh, wasn't there a... Wasn't there a, a way to move the EFB out of its um, holder here? I have to read up on that. I'm sure that possible. Cool. Very nice. Very cool. <laughs> Alright, let's start engine number two. Start and um, engine master two, or we can unlock the cockpit door. Cindy aus Marzahn. And we got N3. Wow, he's loud. Fuel flow. EGT rise. And one rise. Oh. Again, the plane stopped pushing back. For whatever reason. So we have to push back 
here this way and then we're gonna face here the easy jet, the sleazy jet. But we can see this as well here, this is the taxi line and if we now move here we can see the little vector. a little bit further back to give enough space to the easy jet. Oh, he has enough space now. Okay, we can stop the pushback now, I think. Alright then. Stop, pause, park brake on, disconnecting the tuck. And we are having fuel flow, light up. And one rise. Oh, is that here? Auto brake max. Flaps one. We can arm the speed brake. Condor 303 hotel. Condor 303 hotel, go ahead. Ah, yeah. Yeah, transponder's on now, and the transponder code is missing, I know. Lufthansa 25 Alpha, contact tower 119, that's for minor. Oops. So 1000 transponder is active. And engine available. Then start switch back to normal. APU bleed, APU master off. And everything else is fine. There's nothing to do. And we got. Uh, Flaps 1 plus F. Speed brake armed. Yeah, but Condor 303 Hotel, we are ready for taxi. Woohoo. Oops, I blocked. Taxi to stand Alpha 40 Lima, November 7th. Condor 303 Hotel requires taxi. Condor 303 Hotel, taxi. Via Link Road, November 8, home short of the Link intersection, November 8, November 7. Okay, we taxi Link 4, November 8, and hold short of the uh, link between November 8 and 7. Condor 303 Hotel. Oh, what does he want from us? Yeah, I get quite on that one, it? Yeah, show sure, mine. Thank you, Labour and Sam, with Lufthansa 6 to Papa on uh, Lima 17. Lufthansa 6 to Papa, Frankfurt, Apron, Hallöchen, Taxi by Lima, Hochschule. Alright, so we are here. He wants us to taxi Link 4, November 8. And, uh, hold short of November 8. And then Lufthansa here the link between November 8. So he wants us to November wait here. Taxi light on. Park brake released. Move it. The uh, junk. Okay, we will follow the Condor. Follow the blue stripes. Kannst du mich als blaue Streifen sehen überhaupt? Okay, aber Condor geht's auch nicht oder was? Gar nicht. Okay, gut. Aber halt die normalen Kondorfarben oder was? Komm. Okay. Immerhin. Aber ich habe gesagt, 373. Was steht für Condor 373 oder Condor 303 Hotel? Condor 303 Hotel, uh, give way to the Lufthansa coming in for, eight, for Alpha 0, then taxi via November 8, Lima Hochschule of the Level. Ok, 
Okay, you went clear of the incoming Lufthansa, we taxi November 8, Lima Hotel November 4, Condor 303 Hotel. And the inbound traffic has just passed now, so go further. Yeah, we saw them. Easy. That's the Lufthansa that we have to give way for, he's parking at the last gate. November 8, Lima do you know how they call the... It's only fun in German. How do you know how they call the last gates here? Here, this, this long pier, and if you park at the last three gates or so, you have a very long walk, uh, a very long corridor from the main terminal. So sometimes they call it... They call it... Um, yeah, I'm ended... A, it's, it's an Indian gate, because it's at the end of the Ganges. I'm uh, ended this Ganges. So November 8, November 8, so right, left, right, and then Lima and hold short before November 4. Roger. So we go here, November 8. Yeah, well, if the car doesn't move, I move the car. So I think we can forget about the other flight from Hamburg to Berlin because it's gonna get too late. Yeah, I have to taxi with the Airbus 330. You have to really go. You have to go really slow around the corners. Otherwise, there's no chance to make the tight turns. Oh, that was a, that was a zoomy. Three zero three hotel. Is you also an Danke, ciao. November five. So the next taxiway from the left, we have to hold short. The Condor 303 Hotel on uh, Lima. Taxi holding point Lima 325 Center, Condor 303 Hotel. So Lima 3 is the 1, 2, 3, the 4th on the right. So this is number one. Changing one two zero one five zero. And in the meantime, departure review. We could as well put the checklist here. Call the cabin. Push the take off config button. All green. So we got three taxiways to go on the right. That will be the, the third one from now. Will be Lima three. So um, frequency change when advised. Climb and maintain 5,000 feet. Abnormals on the SID. 
engine failure one we're heading, 4,000 feet, catastrophic left hand circuit, minimum 2,000 feet, come back to 5 center. Perfect. Condor 303 Hotel, ready for departure. Line up and wait runway 25 center, Condor 303 Hotel. Transponder is TARA. Landing lights on. That's what we need. The strobe lights, come on. The strobe lights on. So you have to go really slow, otherwise I will not make that turn here. Left clear. There's one guy on final, but hopefully he's on final of 2-5 right. Uh, sorry, 2-5 left. Center for takeoff, Condor 2303 uh, Hotel. Before we go, I am going to preset the expected departure frequency, which should be 120.5. Olympic one Alright, then let's get here 50% uh, and 1. Elapsed timer started, and then we go to flex, stable, take off view, brake release, runway green, SRS green. Somebody here, look. Can we see it? Oh, yeah. 
Level, so we select vertical speed 1500 to avoid TCAS alerts. Level 130, Level 130 set, climb green.
alles klar. Let's have a look for the livery, if that is correct or not. I really wonder. Also, Freund zum Tee auf. Liveries. Airbus. Stripes on the winglet. I don't remember seeing them here, but maybe it's just a bit of a short memory. Let's have a look. No, there shouldn't be as well blue stripes on the camera. So maybe this livery from Flight Sim TO is not. Compatible with the latest version of the Redwind Air Rescue Radio, but I don't care, that's fine. This is minor stuff as long as the plane flies properly. I'll tell you to zero when you fly the plane, sir. Direct D not. Unfortunately, the author of this livery hasn't done anything now for exactly a year. The livery, the blue one, was released on April 5, one year ago. Let's see if this guy is still active or not at all. He has released 55 files. And uh, he's, he locked in last. Is there anything written? Well, then it's time to have a look at our arrival charts for Hamburg. I heard the weather is becoming a bit windy there. My sources say the, wind is, the weather is becoming windy. Showers in the vicinity, a few clouds, broken clouds, TCU, few, okay, 11. Recent showers of rain, temple, 13 months of rain. showers of rain, it's not so bad. So, QMR 1003, that's set that right away.
that zip up right away. So, new ATIS, read again. So, look. If there was information wrong, you expect RMP approach on way 33, really? Wow. Tim, it's interesting. RMP approach, 3-3. Ja, genau, 3-3-3, ne, bei Isos Keilerei. Ja, ja. Nicht D-Nat, D-Nat. Ja, Transition Level 6, ach, sorry, 7-0. Das kann kein richtigen RMP Approach, der kann nur LNAV, aber gerne nur LNAV, but not the vertical part of the Okay, so the. Oh yeah, okay, I see. Thank you, Kevin. Is it better now, the aircraft sounds? Or do I have to lower it even more? Yeah, because in my last stream that I reviewed from last week, I noticed that the aircraft sounds were way too low. I, c I could barely hear them. So, um, yeah. But if next time, tell me before. Of course, now we're already, what, 20 minutes into half an hour into the stream. So, I don't want to deafen you guys. So, 250 at 7. Temperature 11. And QNH 1. Zero, zero, Let's have a look here. So approach. One zero zero three. Temperature eleven. Two fifteen. Seven. Transition level. One two eight decimal seven five. Uh, one two eight decimal seven five. Quatsch. Condor three zero three hotel. Top. Hey, Moin, Converse 303, Hotel Level 240. Minimum, we still have to uh, uh, check out from the charts. But for this, I first have to produce the charts. So let me quickly go to my. via Nolgo and it's one of the Nolgo arrivals to runway 33. I don't know if I'm too loud. Oh come on, load it. Are we offline again? Lot 2 Whiskey Golf contact line radar 133 decimal 025. Check is a bit slow at the moment. Okay, then we have to go the other way. We go here and we select arrivals. RP approach 3-3. We are now go to Sierra. There we go. Traffic, traffic. Traffic, traffic. Oh, really? Let's have a look. 
Are they sending? Not really. Oops, somebody's coming my way here. But they are 1000 feet above our level, so nothing should happen. It's busy here, look at that. Huh? All the aircraft here. Not bad. So then, uh, now go to Sierra. And RMP approach runway 33. Okay, it looks like Jefferson is down. Or let me let me reload the Jefferson website. Probably was idle too long on that website. Direct Madua, Condor 303. Direct. Yeah, Madua. Direct. Okay, now it worked. And let's load the charts, hopefully. Nothing bad. Okay, let me know when you are able, direct, Sarge, Dead, Sierra, Alpha, Sierra. We'll go, Alright, so. Oh, look at this arrival. I have a feeling that we are not going to fly this, but we're going to get a straight in approach. Somehow, I have this. I got in my guts. But let's see. So we're looking at the R and RMP approach to runway 33. MSA is based on the R ARP. You know ARP. Yeah, yeah. You all know your airport reference point. Uh, 2100 feet. So as, lo as long as we're above 2000 feet, we're safe. And. Um, the RMP approach is based on a three degree glide path angle from Sosax, which is 9.2 miles out, 3000 feet, minimum 170. We need to check all these altitudes around here at the several um, distances to runway 33. So, not the EME, but distance to runway 33, very important to not mistake it for something else. We got probably this here at 5.7 or at 4 miles. At 4 miles, this is gonna, this is gonna be like our outer marker replacement. 4 miles from runway, we wanna be at 1360 feet. Uh, minimum, uh, we can only do an LNAV, CDFA, not VNAV, because the plane doesn't do it yet. So it's 580 feet, and because we don't have vertical guidance, we have to add 50 feet, that right. would be 630 feet, and we insert that here on the approach phase, borrow 630 feet. Oh. That's it. Two wings 4545, uh, descent flight level 5. Uh, we expect the puppy on the left side. Conversion maintained. A missed approach, climb on track 330 to Waypoint Delta Hotel 089, that's about 6 miles straight ahead. Then turn right direct to Hamburg, climb 4000 feet. As well we know that the plane, the flyby wire does not have the missed approach in the FMS, so we have to do that manually. So, Sozax, runway 33, and that's the end of the routing. But what we can do is, we can simply program the 
Hamburg view are here and I put the ALF, the Alska DME station on NAV2, if that is correct, yeah. And this way. Do we still have the food spittle? Mm, I don't know if it's this one or not. Same one, more and go in one for at level one. So, NAV2, the DME we're going to use for missed approach, 5.8 more or less, and Hamburg for dry turn. No. Let's go to Progress and program in Hamburg Airport. And we got 90 miles to run, so in 10 miles we want to start a descent because we may get a, a straight in approach. And if we plan on crossing, let's have a look if we got it here. In case we plan on crossing uh, Nolgu at level 110. Okay, yeah, no, go between 4,000 feet and level 110. So if we do that at 110, we're going to end up way too high. But I'm going to ask the controller if he knows anything. Uh, and Condor 303 Hotel, uh, for descent planning purposes, are, are we looking at the straight in approach or um, vectors later on? Condor 303 Hotel. Airport, it will not be a Roger. Okay, then we plan level 110 by Nolgo. Let's have a look here. Nolgo. Ah, look, it does not have the constraint. Why is that? Because sometimes the database is kaput. So, minus flight level 110. Oh. So we got that program now. Let's have a look. We are currently one to five eight five Condor three zero three hotel. Tschüss. Um, so we are currently at 240, we have to be, we want to be there at 110 or 100, so we have to descend by 13 or 40,000 feet. So 14 times 3 is uh, uh, 42, and because it's Airbus 330, we are at 10%, let's make it 50 miles. Oh, we are holding. I think we're going to slow down soon. Bremen, uh, moin! Condor 303 Hotel, flight level 240, Marburg. Condor 303 Hotel, Bremen, wo ist identified? Ist ein flight level 120 and volt at 0 at published. Okay, send level 120, hold 0 as published. Condor um, 303 Hotel, and we are slowing down now. Let's see if 220 is minimum clean. We're gonna see it when we, we're gonna as soon as we are gonna see the minimum clean speed, we will see the um, the green dot here. Kevin, yeah, I will have a look on your at the question shortly. Let me first program all this here. So let's take here vertical speed 500 minus, and he told us to hold Nolgo. So the Nolgo holding is inbound, 005, and left turns. Let's do that. And because we're going to be below level 140, it's the standard one minute outbound lag timing and not 1.5. If it's 140 above, one, you do 1.5 minutes, one and a half minutes. Now I just have to find out how I hold at the point. I used to do that. I used to know that. Maybe here. Yeah, here hold. So 005 we need, 005 and left turns, about everything is incorrect here on that page. At least the time is correct, 1.0 and we do insert and we got our holding program at Nolgo. 
How are we doing on speed? Oh, that was a good guess. Huh? Minimum clean is 218 roughly, so 220 is a nice speed. Radar, sample flight, flight level 100. Sample flight, flight level 150. And we have about 40, 50 miles until Nolgo. We're doing ground speed 320. 320 divided by 60 is about uh, 5 point whatever, 5.3, 5 so we're doing 5 miles a minute, so 50 divided by 5 is 10, so in 10 minutes we're going to be in null go, and we want to be there at 120, so we need to descend at about 1000 feet a minute. 1000. And I will shortly have a look at your question. All right, now let's have a look at your question, Kevin. So, uh, the ground slew fix. Okay. Yeah, okay, you mean the, the zoomies, yeah. No, I, I don't know. I don't know, man. Um, yeah, we have this. Uh, Lars made a, a fix with a new codec for the interpolation and it seemed to work well. Uh, uh, but he said it was not ready yet for release. That's the last that I, I heard a few weeks ago. I don't know why it's not ready to be released. Um, so. Obviously, there's something still going on in the background that I don't know about. I'm, I'm not a developer, I'm just a dump pilot and software tester. I don't know. At least today we fixed... At least we, we managed, or they managed... They, they have fixed the... Um, the bug that prevented the bug that prevented the translation or conversion of VHF frequency to HF frequency for those oceanic uh, radio control that we will need now on the weekend on Saturday for across the pond, right? So I tested it today and it works. The fix works. So expect a new release tonight or tomorrow, I guess. Let me have a look in our Discord. Maybe we already have a release. Ah, I see the photo from that um, Kim made. Here. La 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 la. Where is the photo that Kim made of me on the project? Hey, look. That's the photo that the screenshot that Kim made. And that's yeah. That's Kim's aircraft, the Airbus 320 of uh, EasyJet Europe, departing, rocketing out of uh, Frankfurt to the center. Well. Let's see what we are, what we got. Dream Raider, good evening. FedEx 5024, inbound micro slider with 230. Good 
and we are slowly but surely approaching our holding. 24 miles to run. Speed is cool. Identified descent flight level 110 holding at Bockmo, Felix 5 Identified, Quebec, 10 4 5 4 5 Contact Green, Radar 1 2 8 Centimus 7 5 0 Das klang wie vorhin, wie Hold at Bockwurst. <laughs> So far, I'm happy with the IR bus. Oh yeah, let me quickly change the sensitivity. Well, I better tell the controller, because it's busy here. And I got a plane following me. Yeah, that Eurowings 4545, four, he's following me to the holding, but he's going ground speed 324 knots. We are doing 280, so he's going a bit faster. But as well, he's, he's 6,000 feet above us, which means as well, or 4,000 feet above us. Uh, means he's got a higher ground speed, or higher true airspeed, and probably a higher ground speed for the same indicator airspeed, obviously. Because you all know, uh, that True airspeed increases by 2% per 1,000 feet that you climb. So if he is 4,000 feet above us or higher than us, descent level 110 Condor 303 Hotel. Level 110 set. So the true airspeed decreases. Uh, it increases with by 2% per 1000 feet that you change altitude where you climb, you get higher. Or decreases when you descend, obviously. So this guy is now 4000 feet above us, which means he has an 8% higher true airspeed for the same indicated airspeed. So we, I'm doing 220, and that's a true airspeed of 275. And he has 8% more than that. So that's about 300 knots. Makes sense, yeah. Makes sense. So I think now is not a good point in time to um, pause the simulator and fiddle around with the elevator sensitivity. No. The controller will not like that. Uh, frequency 119 So now look at the Swift radar, it's getting busier. It's getting busy in here, it's getting hot in here. One nine five two five Condor three zero three at Hertog. One one nine. Five two five. Five two five. Condor three zero three hotel. Null good to hold. Descending level one one zero. Condor three zero three hotel. Bremen Hallo Alt Entfalt. Lufthansa two five Alpha descend flight at Elzo. So there are some clouds, the temperature is minus 5, so we better switch on our anti-ice. 
Das ist der Bockwurst. Und der Bockmo. Ah, Bockwurst. Holding. Turning left. Turning outbound. Voodoo. Voodoo. I see. Down there is a guy. That must be the. Uh, hmm. Is that the Eurowings 3? Yeah. That's the Eurowings 3 Tango, yeah. Yeah, it's this guy. Yeah. Eurowings 3 Tango is down there. Easy. One Charlie Oscar. Holding cancel, turn right heading 280. Holding cancel, right 280. One Charlie Oscar. You need to know what the minimum clean speed is for your aircraft when you have to load. That's what you do. You go here to the green dot speed because green dot is the best lift over drag ratio. Lowest fuel use, longest endurance. Descent level 90, Condor 303 Hotel. He talks very fast. Okay, level 90 set, vertical speed minus 500. Set hold speed, didn't I do that? There is no option for the hold speed. No. There is nothing. Oh, does it want me to reduce the speed here to the green dot? Yes, my golf right heading is a good one. Let's have a look. I would have to dive into the manual. Of the Airbus to know that. Left to the plan, foot on beach, foot on Lima Gold. Turning 572, speed 200. Speed 200, absolutely. Very nice. 
this. But this way we can't see any T class targets, can we? No, we can't. And by the way, why are there no T class targets? Contact Director, one more day to Ah, uh, now we see up left. Alright, we are below level 100. Switch on the landing lights. Cabin call. Wing light on. Oh look, there's the other guy above us, that's the Eurowings 4545, he's going at an insane speed, he's doing 260 knots still, wow. What's our speed, 230? 246. <laughs> yeah, look at all the aircraft here. It's busy, busy, busy. Hello. We are flying to Hamburg. We are currently holding in Nolgo. Hello, moin. We are holding in Nolgo because uh, that's one of the initial approach fixes. Um, because it's busy in Hamburg and they're using the RMP, the uh, RNF approach for runway 33. Probably because they want to have some fun, I don't know why. But it's good. Okay. We're holding with other people here. Tim as well has joined us. He's, he's just above us somewhere in the holding here as well. I lost track of him. So you're waiting at the real truck for your flight home or in your simulator? <laughs> okay, the real truck. As well, I was in Praha two days ago, but only for two hours, three hours waiting on the ground for the passengers and then we left again. Oh, three hours delay. That sucks. Why is that? Because of bad weather or s industrial action? Or is just the airline that is not organized well and has... And, uh, Condor 2603 has produced a lot of delay now at the end of the day. Oh, to Bristol. But you fly directly. You fly direct to Bristol, or is it via somewhere? I guess if you can't land in Bristol, they will take you to what? Birmingham or Southampton, no? And then a nice bus or taxi. Ah, easy jet. Ah, there you go. <laughs> Although easy jet is still the the more decent version of low cost airlines. Yep, already in the hold. Thank you. So Tim is on our left side, let's have a look. Yeah, yeah, this is Tim here, up there. This guy. This uh, flashing lights. Oh. I didn't want this, I wanted to contact 
That's not great, um. And Cardiff, Cardiff direct line is not far from Bristol, but you can't go direct because there's a bit of water in between. Or if there's no water as well, it's just mud, depending on high tide and low tide. And well, you know that we live there. So it's still a long drive. Oh, it's a long holding already. Jesus. And uh, easy set five delta Papa connect payment one two three decimal nine two five. One two three decimal nine two five is five of the Papa. Send that to five alpha turn right heading three six seven. Oh, okay. Well then, it's just uh, operational reason. Operational reason, I guess. They had delay some somewhere else. Well, you can. You can probably look up the tail of that aircraft on flight radar and see where they've been before and where they picked up the delay. Yeah? And that's our what fourth holding? Okay. Yeah, but what what does Flight Radar 24 say where the plane came from before? It arrived in Bristol, and whether it was late on that leg or the the leg before, uh, maybe the weather was bad there. Could be. Okay, so what's the weather? So what was the weather like? Inverness? Was it a mess? No, lossy mouth. Which is next to Inverness is Kevwok. Yeah, Inverness is fine, yeah. Nothing special there. Yeah, Bristol is as well, it's not really bad, no. Well, tonight they have still a forecast, temporarily heavy rain, uh, showers of rain, yeah, heavy rain tomorrow morning and the afternoon. In the morning they're looking at fog and heavy rain and broken zero zero zero. Cardiff is uh, four and a half kilometers at the moment, moderate rain, broken 1,000 feet, TCU, yeah. okay. and they obviously they got a very similar forecast for tonight as well, tempo heavy rain, but still the, min the weather, the visibility is still forecast to stay above, well above the ILS minimum. Level 8 zero, Condor 3 zero, three zero, three zero. Send, 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 Level 80, vertical speed 500. So, 
Level 8, you're set, VS Green, minus 500. Correct, uh, 4545, five, descent flight, level 9. Yeah. Well, has that plane been in uh, Bristol for a long time already, waiting for departure to Praha, or did it arrive late from the previous flight into Bristol, you know? That would be the, the thing, you know? Or maybe the uh, maybe the plane the uh, the plane that was you were supposed to fly with went uh, broke down and they just reshared this tail. Could be as well. Huh? All right, then let's have a look. Let's have a look at what's coming up on uh, the weekend. Here, look at this. This will be our. Oh, let me remove the wind barbs. So this is our will be. Will be our plan on Saturday afternoon, starting at um, 14:30 Zulu. Flight time: eight hours from Cape Town to Sao Paulo, Guarulhos. Cross the pond. So um, I got a slot. Daniel does as well. Um, no idea. I didn't even check. No. But I guess it's too early. Only tomorrow night, I guess. Will we get the routing? Or early in the morning on Saturday. Although the routing between here, Cape Town and Gorulius should be. Uh, Straightforward. Let's have a look here at satellite. Is there any weather at the moment? Yeah, there's this front here. But it's moving away from where we're gonna go. It's fine. Yeah, that's okay. And here, look at the wind barbs. So you see. The wind is not, it's not too strong, 50 knots, 60. That's fine. So, my program here thinks I, this is the great, here the great circle line um, tells me 8 hours and 3 minutes departing 15 Zulu on April the 1st with the predicted or forecast winds then. Ah, you're going from Vienna to Bogota. Oh, that's a long one. Wow. Let's have a look. L O W W to uh, S K B O, Bogota. And I guess you're going to be flying at. Condor 303 Hotel, holding cancelled, fly heading 240. Holding cancelled, fly heading 240, Condor 303 Hotel. Condor 303 Hotel, speech 220. Speed to 20, what we have, on the 3 0 Yeah, So we make a left turn heading 240. So you're looking at uh, 12 hours and 17 minutes. Ouch. Maybe they will optimize your flight plan, your flight route. With a bit less wind, I don't know if this will. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, see? It may be worth flying this routing because it will keep you out of the strong headwinds. But, anyways, you will have to use the routing that um, they give you. Huh? Let's have a look here. Uh, back my SVG. Speed 200, Felix So Daniel is going to use his uh, Airbus 310. Then he can't far fly as fast as me. Well, well. Felix 5024, cut out, confirm, heading 220. Heading 220, Felix 5024. Oh, it's raining here in my real world. Great. And now that I need to go 
the dogs are running. Uh, three to one port in Texas, turn right to the three five seven. FMS, otherwise the plane will probably revert to NAV mode. Set hold speed. No, I'm, I'm not holding anymore. Descent altitude 5000 feet, 1003. Condor 303 hotel. And right heading 360. Condor 303 hotel. Right, uh, 360, we must not forget to set the Q&H, so set Q&H, 1003, it's cross-checked against the Q&H that we received before on the ATIS, 5000 feet, oh no, I should, I should do it here, 5000 feet set Q&H, 1003, V is green, 1000, no, that's the way it's supposed to be. So don't forget, never accept the QNH blindly. Always have a second source of weather information at hand to compare to what ATC uh, provides you and structure with. It may save you from hitting the ground. Right heading 120. Right heading 120, Condor 303 hotel. Yorex 4545, descent flight to Oh, you. I feel with you. I airline a lot as well. And um, actually, this week, this tour, I airline on day one. I airline in the afternoon from Frankfurt to London Heathrow. That was okay. And yesterday, I made my way home by train from Munich. So that was nice. No airline. Yeah, what Condor was your... Heading 150. Heading 150. What was your business in Prague? Vacation or business with beer? Good food. Speed 200, Condor 303 hotel. Oh yeah, now we need flaps. Alright, speed 200 set. Speed check, flaps 1. Condor 308 hotel, direct 118 hotel. 118 hotel, trip. Tiger set. And we got slats 1 set. Moin, Condor 303 Hotel. Vacation, yay. Right by five, Condor three zero three hotel. Right 
Oh, what we didn't talk about, by the way, is the following. So again, heading, 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 heading After landing, right, heading, three, zero, zero, we'll clear. probably evacuate here via Echo 3. Hard right turn, Echo 1, and cross runway 23, only when instructed. Echo 1 to Alpha 5. And then we need to change, uh, switch to the ground chart here. Strong. So I'll echo one alpha five and then one of these stands here maybe be a Zulu one or Zulu three, Zulu five, Zulu four. We will find out. They will tell us what to do. Another important point we need to um, follow is we need at least two miles between the left wing 360, Condor 303. Hamburg, Tiger 7, 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 that you intercept and establish on the approach course, approach center line, minimum two miles before the final approach fix. In this case, SOSAX is the final approach fix. Reduce 170 until 5, Condor 303. Okay, correct, and clear out the approach on Set RMP 33, maintain 5000 feet until establishment procedure. Condor 303 hotel. Alright, speed check. Flaps 2. So, now, exactly what we just talked about. So, we have to be established at least. Uh, two miles before Sosax and we said here this Delta Hotel 858 which is the intermediate fix is four miles before so we are fine and the initial approach fix is 857 it's another four miles before let's see on this heading we will intercept that very soon um, however we are going to do a little trick and I will go direct to Delta Hotel 857 we are nearly on the center line, here, 857, direct 2, and that will give us the thing. Now, what about the altitudes? So, Delta Hotel 857 at 4,000 feet, 858 at minimum 3,000 feet. But he told us to maintain 5,000 feet until established on the procedure, but now we are at 5,000 and the difference is 2,000 feet, so we have to, we have about 6 miles before Sosax that we have to start our descent, eh? 2,000 feet, 2,000 times, 2 times 3 is 6, so yeah. six, 6 miles before, and we know it's 4 miles between Sosax and the intermediate fix, and so we have to start our descent 2 miles before Delta Hotel 858. And we are currently approaching Delta Hotel 857 and it's going to be here where we start our descent. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm familiar with Prague, yeah, yeah, I remember. I haven't airlined from Prague in a while, but I remember they have the security at the gates. It has its uh, advantages and its disadvantages. Alright, I now will switch to flight path angle. And we have 1.3 miles until we start our descent. Oh, yeah, no, it's Let's prepare the tower already. One, two, six, eight, five. 
so later on we just have to click our joystick button to swap frequencies so 2.5 so activating flight path angle 2.2 and we start our descent now so minus 3 is set and also you see the flight path symbol here So if we calculate, it's four miles between Sozax, where we have to be at 3,000 feet. Yeah, I need to push the cancel button. Because I had set the ASL above 5,000 feet to make sure the plane will descend and not um, capture the altitude by mistake. Oh, I didn't do that. Actually, I wanted to do it. Was it for us? Also for Condor 303 Tower to contact Tower. Hey, Tower 2685, thank you. 2685, danke, ciao. Tower 1, Condor 303 Hotel, RP33. Moin, Condor 2, Pitch 303. Now, we are currently 3 miles before Sosax at 4100 feet. So we said. 3 miles is 1,000 feet, Sozak's at 3,000, so we are slightly above the profile, we should have been at 4,000 feet. So let me slightly increase the rate, temporarily, until we re-intercept our correct path. Uh, Mr. Approach is 4,000 feet, so we need to set that. 4,000 feet set for Mr. Approach, that would be straight ahead, 5.8 miles right turn to Hamburg. The 5.8 we look here at ALF, and the right turn to Hamburg we are here. And he told us to uh, maintain the line up, Bravo Charlie, line up now. Roger, lining up. Yeah, I, I know, I know, I know, I know. Um, and prepare to keep it rolling. Roger. So, we have so the one the case about the right eight miles to go to the, the runway. So at 8 right. miles you want to be at 2,640 feet, what do we have? Now you can take the just straight ahead via Echo 1 and cross runway 2 3. I think we're looking quite okay, maybe a, a tad low. To the head and cross runway 2 3. Yeah, 7.7, oh, we were a bit high actually. 2,500. You see this is the danger when you select other stations that you look at the wrong DME. So let me, let me hide them. So 7 miles here we are at 2.440 and we should have been at 2.320. Reducing Condor 303 Hotel. Alright then. Gear down. 150. Flap stream. And ah, we need to as well. Activate the approach phase. That's already done. In this case, we can actually select manage speed and go 